And now, introducing Eric the Eagle. Eagle. Very much, Jim. Thank you for joining us on Beacon Active and taking some time out of your training. Um, last time uh, we saw you was in September, and uh, where you fought for the British title against Liam Smith, and you come up short on points. Uh, what have you been doing since then, and, um, and what did you learn from the fight itself? Yes, I've learned a lot from that fight. Um, it was a tough 12 rounder. You know, went the distance. My first going going in 12 rounder. So um, I took a lot positive from the fight. Um, obviously, we come back in the gym. I'm training and obviously I realised I could go down, you know what I'm saying, I could go down way. I mean I learned a lot, I learned a lot from that fight. It was a tough fight, um, Smith is a good fighter, he, he, he did what he had to do. It was basic but he did what he had to do on the night and I'm grateful for the experience. Yeah. Uh, Smith, is a, like you said, he's a very good fighter and, um, and, and you've done very well yourself. Right? Um, sure. Is there anything you, you've changed in training, like technique wise or or, or, or fitness wise or anything that you took from, from that way? I mean obviously um, the technique we just keep perfecting the technique um, because I obviously I got the best technician Brian Lawrence the best coach in the business so we just keep working on the technique 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 perfecting it obviously my, you know, just bringing my condition a bit higher I'm thinking I'm, I'm training harder in the gym obviously putting more rounds in, 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 the, in the bags and to get my fitness up. Is it, is it right that, you, that I hear that you're dropping to welterweight as well? Yeah, that's correct. I'm going down. The ego is going down to <laughs> welterweight, you know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, as I said, I'm, I'll be much stronger in welterweight. I mean, light middleweight. The heaviest I go is 11.5. Okay. When I walk in the gym, it's 11.5, 11.4. And I'm only losing, I mean, uh, four, four, four to three kilos mm -hmm. to, go, to go to light middleweight. And light middleweight is, um, they're coming down they're from, from 12 or more like exactly yeah. from four, you know 13 12 they're yeah, coming yeah. down yeah. and obviously they you know what I'm saying after weighing even though we're weighing the same way you know what I'm saying they, they you know they fill up and they got big you know body frame mm -hmm. and in a later rounds that adds up in a fight for example the Liam Smith fight I think that kind of had effect as well obviously the size different you know, most of my pony are there bigger than me, but um, so yeah, that's the reason why we're going down. I can make, I can make water weight. Mm -hmm. And so right now, as you look at me, I am. I weigh myself in the morning, um, 10, 10, 12, and that will be 10, 10 on um, mm -hmm. on December 14th. So yeah, I'm moving that to water weight. I will have the power. I will have the speed, and for sure, you're gonna see more chaos. Good man, good man. As an amateur, I remember you as an amateur, and you was, um, and which was. 69 kilos, I believe. Like, That's correct. Like, yeah. And you was known for um, for being strong. He was a strong guy, and um, and you hit very hard. When you turned, you turned professional. I remember one particular fight of yours against a guy called I think it's for the English title against Nick Quigley. Correct. And you just well to me anyway, but you proved that you could box, man. Like, you just you box on the back foot and you box beautifully, man. Like. Right. Um, is that something you work on loads in the gym during that? Because it was a different kind of side to you that I saw that night. It was fantastic to see. Can't you? Yeah, as I said, um, the best coach in the business, Brian Lawrence. Um, obviously, we work on different techniques. So whatever the opponent brings, we're able to adjust and do whatever we takes to win. I mean, that night, Quigley, we, we didn't know how he's, he's, he's going to come out the way he came out. Mm -hmm. But that's where he came out. And um, we just can fight on the rope, fight anyway. You know what I'm saying? You're a fighter. You must be able to fight anyway. Because he ring. came at you. He was like, he was on you during that. But you managed to adapt and go backwards and, and counter him. And it was great. It was, that's it was right. cool. Huh? Yeah. And you stopped him in the ninth. Think, that's when the ninth round they fought in the tower. That's right. I mean, his, his dad decided for the tower. I think he's done the, the right thing because he was taking some he was, legs. He, he, took, he took some shots. <laughs> like, he took some proper shots. Like. That's right. Let's go back a little bit to how did you get involved in boxing? How did it all begin for you? Where, wow. where was the impetus? Like? Why? Wow, it's a story. Um, the way I go into boxing, I used to be in the street, I used to be a bad boy, you know, look at me the wrong way, a fight kicks out. And um, at that time I was living in Tottenham and um, I was, a couple of guys were doing pads and I liked it so I joined it and I was doing pads with them. From there was like two, three minutes walk from the amateur boxing gym, police, and Club. 
So I went there and visit, just to, you know, just mm -hmm. see stay what's fit. going on. Like, just, yeah, 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 just enjoy it. So I started training, training. Um, one of the coaches told me, "Yeah, you got a talent, you got ability." The, the coach's name is Chris O. Yeah. And well, I was um, 15. I was not 14, 14 and a half. I didn't, I didn't take him serious. Mm -hmm. I just think, oh, he's saying a good word. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, I got it's talent. Just being nice, man. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So. I, However, when I went to church and um, they were teaching about that night, they were teaching about using your talent, using your ability. And bam, it hit me like a light. I said, wait, that guy said got talent. <laughs> so I went back in the gym. <laughs> I started training, training. The more I was training, I was enjoying it. I mean, I enjoy. I, I was enjoying the, the bag. I was sparring as well. And I was sparring people who had more fights. Who had fights. I didn't have no fights. And I was putting them to school. And I was thinking like, wow. And the coach said, Chris Hall, he said, if you carry on training hard, you're gonna have your first fight. I said, yeah. I was excited. I even yeah. tried training harder. And I remember- So, so how old was you here at this stage? I was, <clears throat> I was 15. I was um, 15, I remember training for one year. And then 16, I had my, my first fight. And yeah, so that's what- that's And, what you've, and you've come a long way, and now you've, you've competed for the British title. You're, you're on your way, you're, you're well on your way. Huh? And you're, I think you're rated up in, well, in the top five in the country, I believe. Um, yeah, I'm in number three in the country. That's right, man, it really sounds great. Uh, the, now, what's the plan going forward? Has your team have a plan? Do you want to try and uh, have a rematch uh, with Smith, or are you going another route? Or what, what's the plan in the next, say, like 12 to 18 months for Eric? Um, the plan so far, obviously, we as we're going down to Walterway, oh, so sure, we, yeah, yeah. we're going to be, we have to be, we're going to be, we're going to have a fast fight at Walterway, which is going to be 14 December at XL Arena, and it's going to be against Dell Evans. Um, he has seven fights. One loss, one draw, three KOs. He boxes. He boxes in the fight. He, he reached the final of the prize fight. So obviously, yeah, we're gonna be fighting him. You know, beat him up, get re um, get ratings in the middleweight, in the light middleweight, in the world, sorry. in the world, yeah, sorry, yeah. sorry. And then, you know, and then we look, we look for different options. We look, you know, what I'm saying we look for different fight. Obviously, I live, I live to my management team. Mm -hmm. Decide who I'm, who, who I'm gonna fight next. So what, I, what I gotta do is train hard. Prepare and beat whoever put in front of me. I got the best, the best promoter, Eddie Han, mm -hmm. and he's getting he's getting the right fights. The um, so you like you said you're fighting Dow Evans on the 14th of uh, December at the XL. Yeah, that's right. Where can uh, where can people get their tickets from? Have you got a Facebook, Twitter account? Yeah, people can get tickets at uh, um, Facebook. Eric the Eagle O Cheng. You can get you can get um, tickets from my website everytheego.com. We're selling tickets there. As I say, Facebook. There's a number you can call. You can meet my cousin, etc. Other people. So yeah, there's different ways you can get tickets. Cool, Eric. It sounds like you're on the right path, and I'm sure you're gonna uh, you're gonna be successful. Thank you so much, Eric, for joining us. Though. My pleasure. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much. Thank you.